with a few more clouds and some slight chances for a thunderstorm, Laura. All right, thank you so very much, Dave. Well, what we're going to do is continue to kick off our summer week with our very good friend, John Bruce. He's out right now live. And as part of our Operation Safe Water Week, we want to make sure that you understand we want you to have a great time this summer, but we also want you to know how to be safe on the water with emergency flares. We're learning about the laws, the uses, and the dangers of those flares. John Bruce, give us some information from Sullivan's Island. I can do that for you, Laura Harris. Thank you so much. We're back out here at uh, Station 30 here on Sullivan's Island, and we're talking about keeping you safe when you're on a boat this summer. It's so hot out, right? Why not get on a boat? But you want to make sure that when you do get on a boat, you're obeying the laws. And right now, we've got Petty Officer Brock Kramer right now. He's going to tell us all about the laws and what you need as a boater to have on your boat to stay safe this summer. So, Petty Officer, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for the interject introduction, John. Uh, again, I'm Petty Officer Kramer with the United States Coast Guard here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Coast Guard, we require that you have a flare on any federally controlled waters. Uh, in the South Carolina, Charleston area, that means anywhere offshore. Uh, if you are, again, required to have these flares, then we require that they are, they are to be good and serviceable condition. We also require that they are readily accessible and Coast Guard approved. Uh, with that being said... Uh, and the Coast Guard... Uh, they actually come around and do these safety inspections, and, and they're going to check your boat. They're going to board your boat and make sure that you have all this stuff. Absolutely. We, we come by. We're out there every day on the water checking for, uh, to make sure these flares are in good and serviceable condition, on board, readily accessible. Uh, it's a good idea this time of year to make sure that the dates are not expired. You know, a lot of people have old flares and stuff like that, so it's definitely a good idea now to go before you get on the water and make sure that the, the flares are not expired. Indeed, and tell us what the flares symbolize. Obviously, it's a distress call, but tell us how you guys respond when you see one of these things. So. Uh, a visual distress signal is a way to communicate to other mariners that a boat is in distress and it's, it also signifies where that exactly that location is. It's important to note that it is unlawful to discharge a flare if it's non-emergency situation. If you have any old flares or anything like that to discharge, please contact your local uh, law enforcement or Coast Guard station. So 4th of July is coming, but these are not fireworks. Important to note right there. Absolutely, they're not fireworks. All right, Jennifer, there are three types of flares that you're going to demonstrate for us. Tell us all about them. Yeah, John, the first ones I'm going to do is actually an orange smoke. We actually recommend these in the harbor and the marshes because they're very easy to see from a distance. We're going to pop this thing off right now, right? We are going to pop this thing off right now. Now, what we're doing is we are actually using, I'm going to go Brock, I'm going to have you hold that. We're using expired flares that have been donated to the Coast Guard for specific situations like this. Set this thing off. Here we go. Said it's an expired flare, so we're still working. There's a little, uh, you know, it's a little bit warm ah, out here. Right. So, you want to try one more? Something else to uh, talk about. If you do have a flare and it does not go off, it's it still can be considered live ordnance, and the best thing to do is discharge it overboard. So definitely don't point it and look at it. Correct. And there you go. We heard it a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That's going to send smoke out. So what do you guys do when you see so, that? Notice that she's keeping it at a 45 degree angle. If you are actually on a boat, you want to keep it pointed over. There's uh, hot drippings that can come down or slag. If you're on an inflatable, you're, you're going to put holes in your boat. So you don't want to catch your boat on fire. And, 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 and this type of flare would be good for, for what situation? This is uh, orange smoke, so that your best situation is going to be at daytime. You're, you're not going to have a hard time seeing this at night, as opposed to the red flare that I'm going to shoot off. Okay, let's get to that red flare as well, if you don't mind, Petty Officer. Now this red flare, what's the difference and, and what does it mean to you guys? This is a red flare. This would be more for a nighttime uh, visual distress. Uh, you know, it's brighter in the daytime. It's, it's not as, it'll still work in the daytime, but if you have the choice between a smoke and a, a red flare, we definitely recommend the uh, red flare. All right, let's light that one off as well. Here we go. We're going to stand back a little bit and see how this goes. Looks like we're popping it from the bottom. There it goes. You can see just how bright that's burning. So you guys, if you're on a ship, you can see this pretty pretty easily. Depends on the, the conditions of the sea state. If, if it's good visibility, absolutely, for miles. And uh, how many of these, these flares do you see? Do you go respond to every one of them? Uh, how does it work? Well, we respond to every, every uh, opportunity that we hear. We'll respond to everyone. So again, it's very important to, to not discharge these unless it's an emergency situation because it takes resources away. And if, if it's not an emergency, then, you know, we're, it's a waste of time. And there's one final type of flare, the one you shoot off that everybody's seen that kind of looks like a firework, but again, is not a firework. So make sure that you know that. But where can you get these things so you have them on your boat? 
any boating supply store is going to have the required Coast Guard approved flare systems. West Marine, Walmart, any, any place. All right, well, we'll let you put that down. Jennifer, I want to bring in real quick. You guys are still doing those boat inspections, right? We are. We're doing free vessel safety checks. Coast Guard, God Auxiliary does them. No danger of citation. What we do is we actually look through all your safety gear, everything that the Coast Guard would look for when you were boarded, and we'll check it out for you, make sure you're uh, in within the law requirements. All right, there you go. The Coast Guard Auxiliary and the Coast Guard keeping you safe out here on Sullivan's Island. Some great tips for you right there. Of course, go to ABC News 4 to learn much more about how to stay safe on the water. Laura, we'll send it back to you. Thank you so much, John Bruce, and we'll head on over to Dave. Thanks, Laura. Have your pets started scratching yet? Well, maybe they're showing signs of some sort of allergic reaction. It could be to fleas. Dr. Randy Thomas and Terry 